All right. Peoples. All right, guys. So we have a uh, session today that is going to be a nice flow. So go ahead and lose the shoes. All right. Lose the shoes because we're going to get started today. And I want it to be um, you should be up to snuff. This is week three. All right, guys. So when we get into session um, three, um, our yoga session three, our intermediate class, because this is the last beginner one and beginner two, then we're going to go intermediate. Intermediate, we'll go over it once or twice. And you guys are going to know all the moves already because it's going to be these moves plus the intermediate moves. Okay. Plus, the only thing will be changing in the intermediate is the breath. Everything will be at eight, um, and some will be um, possibly, you know, majority will be a five and an eight hold, and those are going to be all deep breaths. So that might be up to 15, 20 second hold, okay? So just keep me a word to the wise. All right, guys, so word up to, um, to get you up, not word up, <laughs> to get you guys up to speed. The things that we're going to be doing today is we're going to do two um, sessions, um, two sets without the uh, warm-up set, and then the second set, we're going to start with the um, warrior one, warrior two. Okay. So first set, no warrior. Second set, third set, warrior. All right. I'm going to try to get through all three today and keep it going. All right, guys. So I'll start to shed as we go. <sighs> Let's find center. Body should be nice and warm. Give yourself a free rotation and free head loosens. Okay. Give your body a little walk. Right, it's fine center, guys. And really find those breaths now that we're getting into um, our third week. We only have one more week left. So really start to get heavy into your breathing. Um, your breathing technique should be really, really almost not mastered, but really getting mastered full. Okay. To really have it down. Okay. All right, again, let's breath in. Exhale, arch. That forward bend feels so good right now. Just letting gravity play its part, letting those knuckles drag. If you have a soft knee, that's okay. Notice I have a soft knee just so I can bend a little bit deeper and really let gravity play its part. With a straight leg, I start to stretch myself. I want the body to stretch right now. Oh, I can feel it in my shoulders, rotate my shoulders forward. Just letting gravity pull my shoulders down and forward it feels amazing. Uh, coming up into my camel. Walking out. And you notice that now that we're more getting a little bit more advanced, I'm going to really start doing my Shadaranga and moving into Shadaranga and out of Shadaranga. Okay, so instead of just moving, I'm going to Shadaranga in and out of the move. We're in Downward Dog now. And at this point, you're at your second session. Downward Dog should be pretty comfortable for you. So I find this extremely comfortable. All right, Shadaranga to push up pose. Your push up pose should be really push up pose, not here. I mean, if we drape down just to release, that's one thing. But your push-up pose should be here. Coming back down into hydrant. Feet lie flat. Deep breath in for cow. And arch. I mean, around the back for cat. Tucking in that spine.
feet come back underneath you. Back into push-up position. Right feet comes into your chest. Push it back and up. Three-legged plank. Oh, I love this. Beautiful stretch to that leg and the extended leg. Now that we're getting a little more advanced, I'm going to open up a little bit. Tilt out. And then turn back in, bring that foot back down. Back into downward dog. Notice the transitions are going to start to get even a little more flowy because we're progressive now, guys. Chaturanga into push up pose. Right knee, deep breath in. Left knee, I mean, deep breath in. Exhale as it pushes back out and up. Turn and open it up. Yes. Down. Ooh, that's a beautiful stretch. And into deep breath in, right knee comes in, exhale, left knee lies down, and comes up into up lizard. Really good to your breathing now, guys. You know, the focus should be much deeper now. Breath in. Exhale out. Stingy downward dog. Shift and cozy right in. All in the same exhalation. Transition. And as you progress, you can start to go into your extended lizard or advanced lizard. Or you can open up into this. Okay. Or you can even turn out of the lizard. You really want to get advanced. Exhale back. Walking hands together and feet back into camel. Heels touch down. Arms are flush on the ground. The knees can be slightly soft, not too much, no more than five degrees. And coming on in, the forward bend, and his feet apart, shoulders width, comes in breath in. Exhale right at the shoulder. It's coming in the arch. Second session, we start to go into warrior one, warrior two. Bring that chest up, driving through those heels. You're strong enough now. Exhale, distribute that weight throughout your feet, dusting the ground, stepping in, forward bend. Take this time to recover before you walk those hands out into camel. Note with the feet further apart that that stretch becomes a little bit more challenging. Walking out to downward dog. 
starting our flow is going to be a little bit different now that we're going to be adding in warrior one warrior two our flow is going to be different complete right side will flow then complete left side will flow starting off with the right side complete flow with warrior one and two and chaturanga to push up pose deep cleansing breath in leg comes in chest out and up three-legged plank Keep the foot straight this time for a deeper stretch. When we open here, we open up at the hip and the inside of the uh, bottom of the hamstring, but we don't get the calf when we do that. So I wanna stay there and stretch that calf as much as possible. Bring it down. Exhale, planting up as we exhale into warrior one. As you breath in, rotate, keep your feet aligned, exhale out into warrior two. Up. Ooh, up. And open the triangle pose. Stay center. And rotate down. The foot rotates back, both hands come inside, plant the foot, foot lies down, and come into up lizard. Going outside now, will comes down, inside elbow comes inside. Yes. Back in, cleansing breath in, foot comes underneath, knee lifts, exhale, back out. That was really nice, that felt awesome. That really felt good. Chaturanga back in, cleansing breath in, knee comes into the chest, exhale out and up. Oh, note that that leg is not as high because this hamstring and calf is so much tighter. Nice, cleansing breath in. And exhale up into warrior one. Cleansing breath in, swoop down. Rotate, find those feet up, and exhale out into warrior two. Up. And come inside, trying to pose up nice and strong. Open that chest. And hand comes down as we rotate the foot in. Foot lies down as we exhale into a blizzard. Oh, yes. And transition down. Cleanse your breath in as you bring your feet up. Put underneath you, exhale. Let the foot plants back. And then, cleanse your breath in into cat, cow. Exhale out into cat.
shot around the elbows into plank pose for eight breaths. And Chaturanga, you can transition on your knees or back up to your hands. And downward dog. You can hop, float, or walk back in. I'm going to hop this time. Right into camel pose. Legs are fully extended now. Stretching completely through those calves. Very nice. Taking breath in. All the way up. I must say, take this time to hydrate. All right, guys. Let's go back in for one more. And this time we're gonna do everything because we're there now. We're gonna do everything at eight breaths, okay? It's gonna be quite challenging. So understand that 16 breath is gonna to have to happen when we're going to warrior one and warrior two, okay? Not four and four, we're gonna to try to do eight and eight, all right? We're gonna get the shakes, all right? This is our last one, week three. So let's try to see what it feels like to go into an entire segment where everything is truly eight breaths. Ready? Now, if, understand if you can't, of course, please drop back down to five breaths. And if need be, also come down to three. Okay? Or anything in between that you see fit. But try to stay um, as close to the three to five to eight breaths as possible. Okay? All right. Mind you, I haven't done this whole set eight breaths myself. So you might see some shakes out of, out of me as well. Hey, I'm only human. All right, guys, let's go for it. Let's see right there. Exhale, arch, big, big arch. Right into camel. Find your camel because this is going to be a real stretch right here. Oh, that was challenging. That one was pretty tough. Down the dog. Uh, downward dog is never going to be a three count. It's always going to be a three or a five. It is just a transitional and a rest position. All right. Chaturanga. Close your breath in. Exhale out and up. Burn. Place breath in and plant. And up for warrior one.
man. Oh, God, I'm shaking like crazy. See it? Huh. Up again. Oh. Oh. Take that to five. Rotate here. Knee down. Up. Eight here. On down, oh, relax. Three, three. Good. Very good. Come back up. The underneath you, punch your right hand. Exhale out. Three breaths here. Chaturanga, cleansing breath in. Exhale out. Very good. Cleansing breath in. Chaturanga as we bring that big up. Exhale. Down. Up. Rotate. Down, open. And touch down, rotate. Lie down, same exhalation. Come up. Elbows come down. Oh. And hand comes back in. Deep clinch your breath in. Foot comes up. Knee lifts. Exhale back. And Shadaranga back into plank. And Shadaranga knee transition, if you like. Back up. Walk it. Hop, I'm gonna walk it back in. Right back into camel. And swing it back in, close your breath in. And up, and exhale. For like two inches taller. All right, come on down to your mat. <clears throat>
All right, guys, we're going to do what we did yesterday as opposed to going into baby child's pose um, or happy baby. We're going to go into pigeon pose, which I like is much more effective. Uh, so coming up into hydrant, <clears throat> bring that right leg up, walk it across the left knee, all the way across, bring it up a little bit. And today, we're not going to bring it all the way down. We're going to keep it up for that high, really good deep stretch. Keep that knee off of the ground. And then if, hey, if you can keep your body up and keep that glued off of the ground, then absolutely by all means, then do it. If not, stay off of the ground. Uh, let's come up a little bit. There we go. All right. There we go. Pushing off, staying upright on 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now let go and relax. Go ahead and lie down on there. Sit it down. Mm. Ah, yeah, yeah. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. Up, slide it all the way down. Bring it over. There we go. Oh, now to child pose. Child pose two. Cleansing breath in. Round your back as you exhale out. Beautiful. Left leg comes up. Walk it over. Lie it down. Remember, don't put that glute down on the ground just yet. Put the knee down if you can. Keep that glute up. That's where the stretch is, and you know it. And 20, 19, 18, 17. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go ahead, lie down. Got another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Business. Oh. All right, guys. Another flawless session with me, you, and us. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for joining me again. Hope you have a great rest of your evening. Namaste.